So, lads, eight new duos today in my team. Eight new duos. And every single one of these is a budget duo other than this and this. Actually, no, this isn't. And to be fair, not every single one. But, like, two golds and a duo. I have a weird feeling this is going to be something good. I have a really, really weird feeling this is going to be something real, real good. Which would be nice. To get a good dynamic duo would be something really, really nice. And, like, I gotta give 2k credit. Today's Christmas content has been crazy. And, oh my god, we just got gifted another 10 subs. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. And for those of you guys on YouTube, if you guys could subscribe, that'd be great. I appreciate it. We're trying to hit 19,500 by Christmas. But, um, I'm just kind of in shock, like. Thank you guys so much, lads. That's absolutely wild. But we have got the Matt Barnes dynamic duo right here. Probably becomes like a Sapphire or a Ruby. Or does he just become this card? Probably a Sapphire. Jamal Crawford probably becomes a Sapphire too. That's not bad, you know. That's really not a bad duo at all right here. Not a bad duo in the slightest. Jamal Crawford and Matt Barnes for what it is. And then we're going to go over this one, which is probably a nice and, nice and cheap one. Yeah, you're probably going up to Sapphires. He doesn't really get much better. Why would anyone use Damon Stoudemire? Still has 25 speed. There's just no point. These duos are absolutely like pointless. They're pointless, lads. What's Francis? Francis is the salary cap reward. He's the salary cap reward. But, um... Yeah, thank you guys so much, lads, for the support recently. I'm well, supporting the stream. But, um, Rolando Blackman? Still, if he release, he goes into an Amethyst, I guess. 88 perimeter defense. He gets a couple of nice halves. Doesn't get that many good goals. He does go up to an Amethyst where Derek Harper goes up to an Amethyst as well. Like, these guys are 1,400 combined salary. So, these, this is actually a beastly salary cap thing. Because he goes up to an Amethyst at 9k for a 6-4 point guard with a good jump shot. All the playmaking badges and half clamps and stuff. He's actually real good. He is really, really good right here. Um, Derek Harper. So, like, this is a good, nice, nice budget duo. But now we're on to the real duos. Now we're on to the real duos, lads. And first up, we're going to look at Nick Batum and LaMarcus Aldridge. So we're looking at Nick Batum, who goes up to an Amethyst. 83 through 88 speed, keeps the three ball. His defense becomes ridiculous, though. Like, it becomes absolutely ridiculous. Then we got Aldridge, who goes up to a diamond, but barely gets better. Plus six speed isn't bad, though. Defensively, he goes up a little bit. He's still a good shooter. You know what? Acceleration's gone up. I would have liked Aldridge to have gone up a little bit more, I will say. I would have hoped, like, Aldridge would have gotten a little bit better. But at the same time, like... Look, it is what it is for a card like this. Um, Like, he's fine. He's fine before the duo. Like, I wouldn't use it. Go out of my way to use the duo. But if you're using them anyway, great. Then we have got right here Jalen Green. 94 speed. Jalen Green goes up to 9 Hall of Fame. So he probably goes up to a diamond. Um, He doesn't really get much better. He gets Bailout Hall of Fame and Hyper Drive and Mini Magician. But he doesn't go to gold badges in anything, if you get me. So like none of his, like, he doesn't go to like gold clamps, gold anchor, or any of them. So he doesn't really get too much better, which is a bit of a problem. And then we've got Alperin Shangun. Shangun gets way better. Like, Shangun becomes one of the better power forward slash centers in the game. 81 speed, 88 three ball, mediocre release. Like, 84 block, 80 lateral quickness, 6 foot 11. He doesn't get anchor or anything, so that's probably the problem with him. Like, if you could give him anchor, he might be alright. But he is, like, he's just decent, even with the duo. Like, if you're a fan of the Rockets and you want to just use him for a duo, that's fine. And I actually want to check, do these cards actually have card art? Do the new cards actually have card art? Because, like, they don't have card art in... 
Um, yeah, they have Carta. I, I'm not a fan of the Carta, I will say. I don't like the Christmas. I don't like this. It doesn't look very Christmassy. It doesn't feel very Christmassy to me. Like, for me, the Christmas present is the best. These are the Christmas. That one looks Christmassy. I don't like Christmas future. And present means future just looks weird. But, um... And we got Franz. Franz goes up to a diamond. Holy crap. Like, he doesn't still doesn't get range. But he gets off-ball pass, workhorse, vice grip. Catch and shoot, claim more coins, but guard up, slippery off-ball. Um, 88 speed. He's also a 6'10", 7'0 wingspan shooting guard. With his own release on normal, which is good. Booker, that dribble style pro behind the back. You can make an argument that this is like the a top three shooting guard in the game with the duo. And then Jalen Suggs is already a god before the duo, by the way. Kyrie dribble style, a really good release, really good dunk. Trust me on this. If you guys have been watching this stream, if you guys have watched my channel, I run Jalen Suggs as my point guard in clutch time just for the lols because I like using budget cards. And 90 speed, 90 acceleration. He goes 93 dunk. He goes to a diamond. So he goes from no hoffs to 10 hoffs. He gets Asian threes, catch and shoot, midi magician, and hall of fame now. Hoff clan breaker handles for days. Hyperdrive and pluck. Well, still going to be a competent defender. Look, for 20k MT, or for, yeah, for 20k MT, or if you want to get Sug for free, you are actually getting a top five point guard and top five shooting guard combo. Like, that is what you are getting with this. That is what um, you're getting. Like for 10k, for 20k, or for free, basically for one or 10k, you're getting a top five shooting guard and a top five point guard. Please boost the speed. Okay. <laughs> now this is a pretty good center. I know anchor's a problem. Trust me, this is a good center. Seven foot one, good shooter, nice popper with a good release on quick. If Kevin Herter gets defense, this is a great duo. He doesn't get defense. Damn. Damn. He doesn't uh he doesn't get defense. If he got defense, by the way, if he went with, like 85 and all his defensive stats and then got a bunch of defensive badges, I would say that this is a just absolute joke of a free card here. And if you got him in last week's free pack, you had a ridiculous duo. Then we got AOR, Austin Reeves. Um He's obviously an elite shooter. He gets a little bit better on defense, though. He definitely does. Um, which is, And he's got a really good release, Booker Dribble style. Austin Reeves is good. Austin Reeves is genuinely good. And then we got Rui Hachimura, who's still an all-around mid-machine, but he's a slightly better all-around mid-machine. He's now a diamond all-around mid-machine. And he gets range. He gets bronze range, which is good. Now, Rui Hachimura is really good. If you want to run like Austin Reeves and Rui Hachimura as your 2 3, you've got a really good 2 3 right there. Just join how good is Wemby? Ridiculously good. But honestly, from these duos, look, this is the best duo by so much. Franz Wagner and Jalen Suggs is one of the best duos in the entire game. I just want to make sure that they, um. I think you can search at your collection, can't you? Um, for these. Where is Franz Wagner? So you're not Franz Wagner, Jalen Suggs. Is Suggs an 89? Suggs an 88 overall. It's Diamond Jalen Suggs and Diamond Franz Wagner. Like. What? Like 20k MT for one of the single best dynamic duos in the entire game. Which is absolutely crazy, lads. Absolutely wild with how good this duo is.